Joe Biden's speech last night at the Democratic National Convention wasn't really a speech for our media. It was a transcendent, indeed, almost biblical experience. The seas have parted. Salvation is at hand. Joe Biden was able to read from a teleprompter effectively. That means the rapture's on the way. An actual headline from CNN's website reads this way, quote, a moment when the destiny of a man and his nation converged. Give that man a raise. But CNN wasn't the only news organization beside itself. <laughs> they all were, and they reacted this way to almost every speech all week. Watch. Michelle Obama is riveting, was riveting, one of the best speeches I've heard her give, and I've heard her give many speeches. She is clearly one of the most talented political minds of our time right now. She's also this kind of pop culture uh, figure who also kind of comes across as your favorite next door neighbor. It was all tied together in a beautiful bow by Michelle Obama. I mean, this extraordinary speech. I mean, she's beautiful. Michelle Obama is one of our most talented political thinkers in America. Quick, name something she said that isn't banal. Whatever. The bar's not that high if you're a Democratic Party figure who could plausibly be on the cover of Vogue. Steve Krakauer is the founder and editor of the media newsletter Fourth Watch. We're happy to have him on the show tonight. Steve, thanks so much for coming on. It does seem like, look, so. let's say you've got strong political views, you're covering this stuff on TV, you know, you can kind of shape the message in a way that's maybe more subtle than just coming out and calling a candidate Jesus, but they're going for that. Why? Well, you, you talk about Joe Biden. I mean, this was a true victory in expectation setting. I mean, you, the, the expectations could not be any lower for Joe good Biden's point. speech. And look, he exceeded them. Uh, so, so good for him. I mean, I think if he didn't go out there and, and say that you ain't black, if you think a certain way, it would have been, it would have been, you know, a, a, a big praiseworthy moment. I yeah. know, uh, you know, it's funny. You played a clip of Van Jones actually, and Van actually said on air that, uh, you know, as we were all preparing for it to be terrible, but as long as Joe Biden didn't embarrass himself, we were all going to come out here and praise it. It's like Van, you're you're reading the stage directions and not the script like that's something you're supposed no, to think true. and not say you know that it, it's it set it up so that as long as he didn't you know go out there and call, you know ask if someone's a junkie it was going to be this perfect moment the republican convention is next week it's monday um and so there's going to be not much time for for people to forget the way the media responded to the democrats as they compared the way the media responds to republicans is that a problem do you think well, you know, I, I think that it's going to be very clear to contrast the two. I, I think that, that there is, honestly, I'm very curious to see how much of the Republican National Convention they even cover. You know, there was a story this week that, that some of the media networks actually covered a little bit less of the DNC than they, than, they, than they were originally going to plan to because they don't want to look like it's they're, they're really giving a short shrift to the RNC when they really don't cover it next week very much at all. So I'd be very curious to see how it gets even covered, if at all. So you think it's possible that they can, with a straight face, saying, you know, we gave this amount of time to the Democratic National Convention, we're giving less to the Republican National Convention? Oh. Oh yeah, especially this year, right? I mean, look, you know, this is a, a Zoom convention. It was it was a pretty boring DNC, and I I don't really necessarily yeah. fault them all that much. It, it kind of matched the tone of the vibe of Joe Biden, maybe very like a you know basement yes. on Zoom. Uh, but but I'm not sure it's going to be very different for the RNC either. It's it's a very strange and different, unique time. Uh, so I, I it would not surprise me at all if there is a a significant reduction in coverage next week than there would be 2016, 2012 going forward, because you know th this is a very different time. I believe networks like CNN and others believe they are in this existential fight with the person in the White House. So gov right. covering it as this, you know, this great essentially like, uh, uh, you know, documentary style for, you know, a, a campaign ad for two hours. I I'd be very surprised if that happens. It is not fact checked immediately as these things are going on. It's fine with me when reporters are tough on politicians, even ones I vote for. That's their job. It's the sucking up that bothers me a lot. And you worked in TV. If you're a TV producer and you see one of your on air people so, you know, say Michelle Obama's great, that's fine. But then say she's one of our most important public intellectuals, when of course that's absurd. Would you get in the person's ear and say, settle down a little bit, you know, take a deep breath. She's not actually Socrates. 
Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's honestly it, it's it's unfamiliar to me. Like I was at CNN. Tucker, you were at CNN too. Yes, it is, it was. It is a, a a completely different world there. I think right yeah. now, and and it is because they are believe that they are in this fight. So I I honestly it's almost unrecognizable the network right now. But but I would say this. Look, one of the biggest problems. Joe Biden. He can read from a teleprompter. He gave a good speech. Obviously, you know, it's all about unity and, and everyone like yeah. that. Yeah. But look at the people who he's interviewed with. And the, his last two interviews, and he will be on ABC on Sunday. The last two people he's interviewed with is People Magazine and Cardi. Be. You know, he is not being pressed by any significant, uh, you know, media figures, and I honestly don't even know if he would be pressed if they actually got him in a room and sat down with him. And, and wait till we get to the debates. I mean, you know, assuming that all happens, uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump on stage in a way that you can't uh, go and, and pick and choose how you're going to cover, then it's really going to, to see how this is all going to play out. And the media is not going to be able to really weigh in as much as they have been in the past. No, they'll be against the debates. You watch. He's always welcome on this show, by the way. Well, we'd give him two blocks even. Steve Krakauer, great to see you tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tucker. Appreciate it.